Calling the War Council of Gallifrey. This is the Doctor. You might say, I've been doing this all my lives. Good luck. Stand by. Ready. Commencing calculation. Send me there. Across the boundaries that divide one universe from another. Got a lock onto his coordinates. And for my next trick, I didn't know when I was well off. All 12 of them. No, sir. Ah! All 13! Sir, the Daleks know that something is happening. They're increasing their firepower. No, no. How can you kidneys? I don't like the colour. Of your kidneys. What's happening? We're probably catching. Oh. It's a war! Stay calm. Just one question. Do you happen to know how to fly this thing? So it's him then. The doctor. A giant dinosaur from the distant past has just vomited a blue box. From outer space. This is not a day for jumping to conclusions, Strax, if you wouldn't mind. Hello? Exit the box and surrender to the glory of the Sontaran Empire. Shush. Doctor? I was being chased by a giant dinosaur, but I think I managed to get the slip. Sleepy. Sir? That's for sneezy. Dopey. Grumpy. The green one, and the not green one. Well, it could be the other way around. I mustn't prejudge. Oh, you remember her? <sighs> Thingy, the, uh, they're not, they're not me one, they the asking questions one. Names, not my area. Clara! Well, it might be Clara, it might not be. It's a lottery. It is, Clara. Well, I'm not running it. Oh, big man, shut it! Oh! You've got a dinosaur, too! Big woman, sorry. Doctor, listen to me. You, you need to calm down. I'm not flirting, by the way. Oh, I think something's gone wrong. Wrong? What's gone wrong? Have you regenerated? Remember you. Your handles. You used to be a little, a little robot head, and now you really let yourself go. Reduce the frequency. Sorry. Your sonic lanterns turn them down. I've given her a headache. Give her a headache. My lady friend. Just an expression, don't get any ideas. How do you know? Come on, Clara, you know that I speak dinosaur. He's not Clara. I'm Clara. Well, you're very similar heights. Maybe you should wear labels. Why are you? Why are you? Why are you all doing that? Why are you? You're all going dark. And will really stop that? I don't think we are. Never mind! Everyone, take five! What do we do? I don't understand. Who is he? Where's the doctor? Right here. 
That's him. That's the doctor. Well then, here we go again. I don't know if you'll ever hear this, Clara. I don't even know if you're still alive out there. But you were good! And you made a mighty fine doctor. It's not working. You've killed us all. So this is going to save us? Pumping energy into the wall? No. Not into the wall. Through the wall. Rule number one of being the Doctor, use your enemy's power against them. They can't restore three dimensions to a door that never existed. Remember that. I tried to reach out. I tried to understand you, but I think that you understand us perfectly. I think that you just don't care. And I don't know whether you are here to invade, infiltrate, or just replace us. I don't suppose it really matters now. You are monsters. That is the role you seem determined to play, so it seems that I must play mine. The man that stops the monsters. I'm sending you back to your own dimension. Who knows? Some of you may even survive the trip. And if you do, remember this. You are not welcome here. This plane is protected. I am the Doctor. And I name you the Boomerus. Everyone who ever lived, man, woman, and child, is now at my command. An indestructible army to rage across the universe. The more they kill, the more they recruit. Happy birthday. Oh, you didn't know, did you? It's lucky one of us remembers these things. Happy birthday. Mr. President. Tiny bit pleased. I'll go on, crack a smile. I want to see if your eyebrows drop off. All of this. All of it just to give me an army. Well, I don't need one, do I? And these are for people who think they're right. And nobody thinks they're righter than you. Give a good man firepower and he'll never run out of people to kill. I don't want an army. No, well, that's the trouble. Yes, you do. You've always wanted one. All those people suffering in the Dalek camps, now you can save them. All those bad guys winning all the wars, go and get the good guys back. Nobody can have that power. You will, because you don't have a choice. There's only one way you can stop these clouds from opening up and killing all your little pets down here. Conquer the universe, Mr. President. Show a bad girl how it's done. Why are you doing this? I need you to know we're not so different. And 
need my friend back. Every battle, every war, every invasion. From now on, you decide the outcome. What's the matter, Mr. President? Don't you trust yourself? Tell me, am I a good man? Sir! I see into your soul, Doctor. I see hatred. I'm not a hero. Thank you so much. I really didn't know. I wasn't sure. You lose sight sometimes. Thank you. I am not a good man. I'm not a bad man. I am not a hero. I'm definitely not a president. And no, I'm not an officer. You know what I am? I am. An idiot with a box and a screwdriver Just passing through, helping out, learning. I don't need an army. I never have, because I've got them. Always them. Because love, it's not an emotion. Love is a promise. And he will never hurt her. P.E. Catch! <laughs> Notice, did you? While you were doing all your silly orders, while you were showing off, the one soldier not obeying. No, that's wrong. That's impossible. The rain will not fall. Oh? Why won't it? The clouds will burn. And who will burn them? I will burn them. How? I will burn. One burning Cyberman is hardly going to save the planet. Vortex manipulators, yours a slave to mine. Cheap and nasty time travel. Face me, magician! Face me! Oh, you probably want to throw up, don't you? Pick a local. According to you, this is where the doctor is. OK, how do we find him? How do we know what we're looking Anachronisms. for? Anachronisms. The slightest, <laughs> tiniest. <laughs> Anachronisms. Is that? You said you wanted an axe fight. Oh, come on. A few hundred years, that'll be really funny. It's a slow burner. A musical instrument is not an axe. Yes, and a daffodil is not a broadsword, but I still won the last round! Yeah! What do you think of my tank? Don't worry, it isn't loaded. I don't like it. Oh, neither do I. I bought it for my fish. Your fish? I may have ordered online. Oh, come on. Fish tank. Honestly, this stuff will be hilarious in a very few hundred years. Do please stick around. What's the matter with him? He's never like this. Oh, you really are new, aren't you? Wait, hang on. Did he just hear that? He doesn't know we're here, does he? <laughs> I have been here 
All day, it's been a great day. You've been here for three weeks. Three weeks? That must be nearly bedtime. Well, we've parted. Yeah. Yes! I helped you dig a well with the first class child friendly visitor centre. I've given you some top notch math tuition in a fun but relevant way. And I have also introduced the word dude several centuries early. Let me hear you! Dude! Are you a Renaissance? Dude! Are you a medieval? Dude! I am a dragon sling! Dude! We are all the young! Dude! I like it! But I've got some sad news for you, dudes. Tonight I'm gonna have to leave you. Oh. But before I do, I'd like you to meet a couple of friends of mine. Shilda! Get the helmet off her. Get it off now. Shilda. No pulse. I think... Doctor, is she dead? Hilly, yeah? yeah. I plugged her into the machine. Used her up like a battery. <sighs> I'm so sick of losing. You didn't lose. You saved the town. I don't mean the war. I'll lose any war you like. Sick of losing people. Look at you. With your eyes, you're never giving up. Your anger, your kindness. And one day, the memory of that will hurt so much that I won't be able to breathe, and I'll do what I always do. I'll get in my box, and I'll run, and I'll run. In case all the pain ever catches up in every place I go, it will be there. You did your best. She died. There's nothing you can do. I can do anything. There's nothing I can't do. Nothing. But I'm not supposed to. Ripples, tidal waves, rules. I'm not supposed to. What? What's wrong? My face. You've thrown me this face. Why this one? Why did I choose? This face. Doctor, what's wrong with your face? I think I know why I chose it. It's like I'm trying to tell myself something. I think I know what I'm trying to say. Just someone. Not the whole town. Just save someone. Come with me. I know where I got this face and I know what it's for. Okay, what's it for? To remind me. To hold me to the mark. I'm the doctor, and I save people. And if anyone happens to be listening, and you've got any kind of a problem with that, to hell with you! So let me ask you a question about this brave new world of yours. When you've killed all the bad guys, 
And when it's all perfect and just and fair, when you have finally got it exactly the way you want it, what are you going to do with the people like you? The troublemakers. How are you going to protect your glorious revolution from the next one? We'll win. Oh, will you? Well, maybe, maybe you will win. But nobody wins for long. The wheel just keeps turning. So come on, break the cycle. Why are you still talking? Because I want to get you to see, and I'm almost there. Do you know what I see, Doctor? A box. A box with everything I need. A 50% chance. For us too. And we're off, fingers on buzzers. Are you feeling lucky? Are you ready to play the game? Who's gonna be quickest? Who's gonna be luckiest? This is not a game! No, it's not a game, sweetheart, and I mean that most sincerely. Why are you doing this? Yes, I'd quite like to know that too. You set this up, why? Because it's not a game, Kate. This is a scale model of war. Every war ever fought right there in front of you. Because it's always the same. When you fire that first shot, no matter how right you feel, you have no idea who's going to die. You don't know whose children are going to scream and burn. How many hearts will be broken? How many lives shattered? How much blood will spill until everybody does what they were always going to have to do from the very beginning? Sit down and talk! <sighs> listen to me, listen. I just, I just want you to think. Do you know what thinking is? It's just a fancy word for changing your mind. I will not change my mind. Then you will die stupid. Alternatively, you could step away from that box. You can walk right out of that door and you could stand your revolution down. No. I'm not stopping this, Doctor. I started it. I will not stop it. You think they'll let me go after what I've done? You're all the same, you screaming kids. You know that? Look at me. I'm unforgivable. Well, here's the unforeseeable. I forgive you after all you've done. I forgive you. You don't understand. You will never understand. I don't understand? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Of course I understand. I mean, you call this a war, this funny little thing? This is not a war. I fought in a bigger war than you will ever know. I did worse things than you could ever imagine. And when I close my eyes, I hear more screams than anyone could ever be able to count. And you know what you do with all that pain? Shall I tell you where you put it? You hold it tight. Till it burns your hand. And you say this. No one else will ever have to live like this. No one else will ever have to feel this pain. Not on my watch. I traveled 12,000 years into the future.
mountain of pure diamond. It takes an hour to climb it, and an hour to go around it. A little bird comes and sharpens its beak on the diamond mountain. <coughs> Nearly a billion years. Ah! And when the entire mountain is chiseled away, the first second of eternity will have passed! Well over a billion years. Ah! I think that's a hell of a long time. Two billion years. Oh. Actually, I think that's a hell of a... Personally, I think that's a hell of a bird. Oh, before you come in, you better prepare yourself for a shock. It's not as snug as it looks. Finally. Finally. It's my go. God! Oh, it's bigger. Oh, uh, yes. On the inside. Look, we need to concentrate. There it is. Yep, I know where you're going with this, but I need you to calm down. On the outside? Oh, you certainly grasp the essentials. My entire understanding of physical space has been transformed! Three-dimensional Euclidean geometry has been torn up for an air and snubbed to death by grasp of the universal constants of physical reality has been changed forever. Sorry. I've always wanted to see that done properly. Would you like a drink? All the brown brandy. Help yourself. Don't tell Dad. What's that noise? It seems to have powered down conserving batteries. There's an inbuilt life support system. I'm not sure what powers it, but... Really don't care. What's that noise? I don't know. Signal? Distress call? Homing beacon. Possibly. So the rest of him's coming? Well, he must be very cross. He's lost his hair. Time we were off, then. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. I am certainly not. Not those sleepers. Hush! I probably want to press that button. Why? That evacuates the waste tank on deck seven. Does it? What is wrong with you? Better avoid deck seven, then. Something's interfering with the engines, which is technically not possible. Uh, maybe. How would you know? Maybe the engines are interfering with themselves. Wild theory, but what if this machine had certain safeguards? For instance, maybe it can't take off when a life form registers as being both inside and outside at the same time. Head and body. Which would mean, and again, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just wildly theorizing here that the door would not engage properly. Of course, it can't seal the real-time envelope. Hence, it can't take off. Not when someone is in and out at the same time. I mean, that just wouldn't be good manners, would it? You're very quick. Yes, for a doctor. Yes. So, no more ghosts, then? Nah, laid to rest. Sure? Yeah, of course, I'm sure. I mean, life's not a comic book, right, Doctor? Possibly I'm not the right person to ask. Well, what if something happens? What if the whole world is in danger? Well, you know, maybe I'll keep the outfit then. You know, just in case. Mm. The world will be fine. I've been away for a while, but I'm back. I'll take care of anything that comes up. You were away? Huh. 24 years. What a night. Where'd you go? Wrong question. What was her name? I'm 
I'm sure that I must be busy. Better go. You okay? Yes, 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 I'm okay. Things end. That's all. Everything ends. And it's always sad. But everything begins again, too. And that's always happy. Be happy. I'll look after everything else. No, don't. Hey, doctor. <laughs> Keep it real. Her name was River Song. They were together for a while and they were very happy. And then she died a long time ago in a library. Are you sure he's going to be all right? <laughs> he's the doctor. He's very brave and he's very silly. And I think for a time he's going to be very sad. But I promise, in the end, he'll be all right. I'll make sure of it. Bye. You never explained. Who exactly is he? Doctor Who? Doctor Mysterio. doesn't pass. The passage of time is an illusion, and life is the magician. Because life only lets you see one day at a time. You remember being alive yesterday. You hope you're going to be alive tomorrow. So it feels like you are traveling from one to the other, but nobody's moving anywhere. Movies don't really move. They're just pictures, lots and lots of pictures. All of them still, none of them moving, just frozen moments. But if you experience those pictures one after the other, then everything comes alive. Am I on time? That's a very big question. You know you're my foster mum. He's like my foster tutor. Am I gonna have to break every bone in his body? It's not like that. You need to keep your eye on men. Men aren't where I keep my eye, actually. Imagine if time all happened at once. Every moment of your life laid out around you like a city. Streets full of buildings made of days. The day you were born, the day you die, the day you fall in love, the day that love ends. The whole city built from triumph and heartbreak and boredom and laughter and cutting your toenails. It's the best place you will ever be. <laughs> Time is a structure relative to ourselves. I'll get him in. Time is the space made by our lives. Where we stand together forever. Time and relative dimension in space. It means life. <laughs> Come on, lady version. I honestly don't know what you see in him. Likewise. No! No! When I say no, you turn back around. Hey! I'm gonna be dead in a few hours, so before I go, let's have this out, you and me, once and for all. Winning? Is that what you think it's about? 
I'm not trying to win. I'm not doing this because I want to beat someone, or because I hate someone, or because, because I want to blame someone. It's not because it's fun. God knows it's not because it's easy. It's not even because it works, because it hardly ever does. I do what I do because it's right, because it's decent. And above all, it's kind. It's just that. Just kind. If I run away today, good people will die. If I stand and fight, some of them might live. Maybe not many, maybe not for long. Hey, you know, maybe there's no point in any of this at all, but it's the best I can do. So I'm gonna do it, and I will stand here doing it till it kills me. You're going to die too. Someday. What would that be if you thought about it? What would you die for? Who I am? It's where I stand, where I stand. It's where I fall. Stand with me. These people are terrified. Maybe we can help. See this face. Take a good, long look at it. This is the face that didn't listen to a word you just said. I know you have. And I know what you're capable of. Stand with me. It's all I've ever wanted. Me too. Well, no. Sorry. Just. If you're trying to make a point, I'm not listening. I don't want to change again. Never again! I can't keep on being somebody else. Whatever it is, I'm staying.
I can't go through with it. I... I will fight it. I will not change. Hello? Someone there? Hello? Who is that? I'm the doctor. Oh, I don't think so. No. <laughs> Dear me, no. You may be a doctor, but I am the doctor. The original, you might say. You? How can it be you? Do I know you, sir? This is the South Pole. We're at the South Pole. Of course we are. Don't you know that? This is where it happened. Where what happened? This is it. The very first time that I, well, you, we regenerated. You're mid regeneration, aren't you? Your face, it's all over the place. But you're trying to hold it back. What do you know of regeneration? Are you a Time Lord? You know who I am. You must. <laughs> Have you come to take the ship back? The ship. You still call it a ship. Oh, dear. What have you done to it? Nothing. The windows. I don't remember and this. The locks. I don't remember the trying not to change. Sure it's not back then. I mean, look at it. It seems to have expanded. Well, so those years are bigger on the inside. You try sucking your tummy in that long. Why are you trying not to regenerate? I have the courage and the right to live and die as myself. Too late. It started. A few minutes ago, you were weak as a kid, right? No. You're fine. We're in a state of grace, both of us. But it won't last long. We have a choice. Either we change and go on, or we die as we are. But if you... If you die here... If your future never happens, if you don't do the things that you are supposed to do, the consequences could be... Snow. Snow? Look at it! How extraordinary. Superior intelligence, my dazzling charisma, oh, my impeccable dress. Letting you go. Letting go of the doctor is so, so hard, isn't it? You see, that's, that's, that's not the sort of thing the real Bill Potts would say. I am the real Bill. Our life is just memories. I'm all her memories, so I'm her. If you say so. Okay, I'm gonna prove to you how important memories are. I've got a little goodbye present for you. Oh, that's nice. We'll have to pretend to like it because, honestly, that rug. Oh, come here, you. Merry Christmas, Doctor. Clara. Hello. You stupid old man. Go back. You're in my head. All my memories. I'm back. And don't go forgetting me again because... Quite frankly, that was offensive. 
Memories. Important, right? I know what you're thinking. Where is he? Hello, sir. When you're already dying, you're entitled to think that your day couldn't get any worse, but here you are. And both of you are here. How does that work? We can be everyone. We are everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's good, this, isn't it? Now I'm all made of glass, not just my nipples. Yeah, though they got my hair a bit wrong, though, didn't they? You don't have any hair. I have invisible hair. Got a suggestion for you, then. Oh, there's a novelty. Don't die. Because if you do, I think everybody in the universe might just go cold. Can't I ever have peace? Can't I rest? Of course you can. It's your choice. Only yours. We understand. No. No, you don't. You're not even really here. You're just memories held in glass. Do you know how many of you I could fill? I would shatter you. My testimony would shatter all of you. A life this long, do you understand what it is? It's a battlefield like this one. And it's empty. Because everyone else has fallen. Thank you. Thank you both for everything that you were to me. What happens now? Where I go now has to be alone. Time to leave the battlefield. Oh, there it is. Silly old universe. The more I save it, the more it needs saving. It's a treadmill. Yes. Yes, I know they'll get it all wrong without me. Well, I suppose one more lifetime won't kill anyone. Well, except me. You wait a moment. Doctor, let's get it right. I've got a few things to say to you. Basic stuff first. Never be cruel, never be cowardly, and never ever eat pears. Remember, hate is always foolish, and love is always Always try to be nice, but never fail to be kind. Oh, and you mustn't tell anyone your name. No one would understand it anyway. Except the... Oh. Children can hear it. Sometimes, if their hearts are in the right place, and the stars are too, children can hear your name. But nobody else.
Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.